In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Mills manipulation for lateral epicondyalgia of the elbow. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. Lateral epicondyalgia is one of the most common upper extremity disorders. It appears to be a chronic overuse injury with degenerative changes to the common extensor tendon with the extensor carpi radialis brevis as the most commonly involved structure. According to an RCT of Nagrale et al. in the year 2009, the Mills manipulation and deep transverse friction massage performed three times a week for four weeks performed better than diclofenac and a supervised exercise program in patients who had lateral epicondyalgia for more than four weeks. You can find the link to the article in the description down below. The Mills manipulation is not a classic manipulation in a sense that it targets a hypermobile joint or joint capsule, but it is a soft tissue manipulation targeting the tendon insertion of the common extensor tendon. To perform the manipulation, have your patient sitting on the edge of the treatment bench. Before the manipulation can be carried out, you will have to make sure that your patient has full elbow extension as well as full wrist flexion. Then grab your patient's hand by making contact with the web of the thumb and then bring your patient's shoulder into internal rotation, the forearm into full pronation and his wrist into full flexion. The olecranon should be facing upwards and the position can be stabilized by fixating your patient's shoulder between your body and your arm. The challenge then is to have your patient relax in this position so it might be necessary to move the elbow from flexion to extension a couple of times. To execute the manipulation, perform a high velocity, low amplitude thrust at the end range of motion of the elbow with your hand that is resting on the olecranon. The proposed mechanism of the Mills manipulation is theorized to be lengthening of scar tissue following the rupture of adhesions due to the manipulation, which is said to result in permanent lengthening and abolition of pain. However, no evidence exists to prove this proposed mechanism. All right, this was our video on the Mills manipulation for lateral epicondyalgia. Of course, you should have diagnosed this condition properly before you conduct this manipulation. So if you are unsure about how to diagnose lateral epicondyalgia, make sure to watch our video on the Cosens test in the video right next to me. At last, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and check us out on Instagram and Facebook, visit physiotutors.com for more content or get our newly released assessment ebook. This was Kai for Physiotutors. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.